Dude, they're oh, this is dark, Paul. This is a dark podcast, man. What? No, dude, this is your I mean, birthday. Is... Ten years ago, you and me fucking went, worked at the uh, Carnegie Hall. Yes. Yep. And this is the I was gonna say the last four birthdays, me and you smoked a stick. Uh, you were at my surprise party. We did no. Are we gonna do a virtual stick today? Are you sick? I'm sick as a dog. I might have. I either have, dude. I either have COVID or strep. I'm going to find out. It's a fucking mess. You know what am I gonna do? I'm sitting out here. Enjoying. How would you have COVID? I mean, I, I got to go get tested for it with the symptoms I have. I was on an airplane. I don't fucking know. She wore a mask, right? Yeah. Well, you have to. Yeah, of course. I'm, and I'm vaccinated and all that, but I I don't know if I caught. You know, could be it could be strep. It could be just a cold. But I got to go check it out. I don't want to get anybody sick. I, I think I think you're fine. He's fucking, I swear to God, man, it's never going to fucking end. Yeah, it is. Dude, they beat, they beat fucking AIDS. It's just going to take a while. And what you have to do is you just have to tune out all of these fucking idiots who have theories, myself included. Tune this out. Just fucking doctors will figure it out. They always have. That's another thing. People are like, oh, yeah, polio is the last good one. It's like, how about the fact that they beat fucking AIDS? They beat it. Dude, some of the strides that we... You take drugs and it doesn't even show up in your system anymore, and you can fucking have sex with somebody and they can't get it from you. Dude, Magic Johnson, dude. The guy got diagnosed in 91. Look at him now. He's fucking... I think he comes up negative. No, he has for years. He also had the money, but now everybody can afford it. <laughs> All right, what's your axe to grind with me? Let's go. Let's let's. Well, I'm you like, know what? My, I'll tell you what. My my friggin', I didn't think I needed to plug it in because I had full charge here. I'm gonna have to plug in my laptop. My axe to grind with you was years ago. We came out here to to Detroit. All right, and I fucking said to you, man, if I had the fucking money, I would. I you know I should start buying real estate out here. You're like, dude, you're out of your mind. That place is never coming back. I was like, I heard them say that about Pittsburgh during my stand-up career. Pittsburgh's beautiful now. Cleveland, Cleveland fucking Ohio came back. And I was looking at Detroit and all of them, they were like, they were like staggered where they were. They were fucking coming back. And now you know what, Paul? Four or five years later, I'm back down here. They're building all these glass towers downtown. I'm sitting in this beautiful fucking hotel. I open my window across the way. There's a bunch of white people sitting in lofts. They don't even have curtains. I'm watching their whole life like I'm in fucking rear window. So, so, um, so you okay? So I was wrong. Is that what you're saying? You were dead wrong about Detroit. I well, first of all, I never said it. I don't. I, first of all, I don't remember the conversation exactly, but I remember you being real. Well, then why home. are you going to defend yourself? You can't even remember it. No, no I, gonna, I don't remember it, but I don't think I said that. That's what no, you're going to say. No, no, no. I remember you going, dude. Real estate here, and I just remember me being hesitant, going like, dude, I don't know about that, because you were really gung ho about it. But listen, I love the people of Detroit. I hope it comes back. I'm not trying to. I'm not. I, I'm not trying to say. Just Detroit. say it, Paul. You, your real estate advice. Two thumbs down. Two freckled thumbs down. You know me, dude. I want to be in the woods away from everybody. I'm telling you, dude, when I turn... What does that mean? So you would tell me Manhattan's a bad investment? No, but I I don't want to be there. Ah, Yeah, I hate to say that. You're a homer, Paul. I hate to say that, but I... I, Somebody said to me, uh, you know, you don't like L.A.? And I was like, uh, I was like, I don't want to live in New York or LA. I want to be in the country somewhere. Like, I don't want to be in New York City. Hang on a second. I got to make sure I, I'm, I'm plugging this fucking thing in here so it doesn't go out on me here. Paul, I'm going to be leisure style here. What a beautiful hotel. And this place that Paul Verzi said, that place is never coming back. They're done. You talked about Detroit the way you talked about Kansas City. Not Kansas City, the Kansas City Chiefs. No, I. All right, Paul, I'm on my bed. I'm feeling fucking comfortable. I'm gonna talk some shit. Um, Dude, this is this is laying down is a weird. <laughs> then what am I supposed to do? No, 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 these fucking hotels—they don't have any goddamn plugs anymore. I can try to sit up in bed. 
Uh, like no, some no, old no. guy about ready to get his soup. Is this better? Uh, this is better. No, I never. But listen, I never said Detroit was a fucking shithole. I never. I just said I didn't think. I thought you were a little gung ho. Paul, like you were like, like you're out of your mind. This place looks like a zombie town. And I'm like, Paul, it's going to come back. I saw Pittsburgh. I saw Cleveland. I saw it. It's really on me. I should have listened to me. Um, Paul, yeah, you see a yeah. fucking split entry in Sydney, Ohio. You're ready to fucking move there. A, a Nordstrom. <laughs> <laughs> we were in a Nordstrom. They got a Macy's. They got a TC fucking yogurt, whatever the fucking things are called. I could live here. I could live here, man. I, lo I love this shit. Um, Detroit people are fucking fantastic, especially your boy there, who I talked to recently. The Detroit, Mike Binder. Yeah, Mike Binder. Dude, Detroit people, dude, everybody I know from Detroit is just so fucking, like, blue collar and fucking chill. And um, But what's weird is it's so different from uh, Ohio. And PA and Ohio are so different. You notice that? How PA and Ohio are right there, right there, but they're so different. Like Pennsylvania? The yeah. All right. You freaked me out that you went named the state and then went abbreviations, Paul. My brain isn't that fast. Oh, yeah. You know, like, like Ohio and PA. I'm like, PA. That's Pennsylvania. Hysterical. That's, yeah.